shooter like Tony Stark tattooed Chavez in the Iron Man in 2008. And if you didn't get this reference, Chavez is an artificial intelligence slash supercomputer Tony Stark uses to run his lab and converse with. So, in this talk, in the next 10 minutes, I will show you how you can build a little Jarvis today with cutting-edge tech that is available right now. But first, I want to show you a research project from a few colleagues of my company, and also, I also worked with, and how a little Jarvis could look today. And in our vision, it's automating based on UIs. We call it vision agents. Uh, and that is how it will look like. So, we start the so-called intent pilot, and it will, you will give it a prompt and say, what should I do on our UI? And it will process this, come up with thoughts, and do it like a real human user, like mouse uh, clicks, key presses, and so forth. And uh, we want to write a little poem about German paperwork, and we give this prompt, and then we go hands off and watch our intent pilot or vision agent do it. And it now inferred, oh, I have to open Google Chrome, and I have to go to Google Docs. And then, okay, I'm here. Let's see what I have to do now. I have to open a blank document and generate a poem, basically. And at the end, it evaluates if the prompt is fulfilled, and if it's fulfilled, it stops. So now we should see the poem. And this research project is made possible by cutting-edge tech, recent developers, developments in the last two years. So what makes this possible? We heard, uh, already heard today that <laughs> it's basically based on massive compute, like uh, a lot of GPUs, basically, and also fast internet, maybe not in Germany. Um, and the next thing we have, and this is, very, this is the most exciting part of LLMs, is the integration into multimodal AI. So basically, general available vision models like that from OpenAI or also Llama 3.2 now, and specialized vision models. And with these vision models, you can do something called like visual question answering. We will get to that later. And the cool stuff about it is these vision models are now able to understand your UI or a screenshot and can reason about it with large language models. We know that the reasoning in large language models is not the best, but it's perfectly fine to reason based on UIs. In this case, it works pretty well. Like what you saw there was based, uh, reasoning based on large language models, and it worked pretty fine. And then the last part that only comes now are libraries like PyAutoGUI, where you basically say, okay, I can move my mouse, I can click elements specifically, and I not do this based on a structure, but I do this cross-platform based on your operating system. So, who is able to determine which person wears glasses? I bet every one of you. This is a very easy task for us humans, but if you give this to a vision model, that's actually a very hard task. The funny thing is, uh, researchers in the 1960s thought, yeah, visual question answering, like the relation of objects to one another in pictures is really easy, solvable. We do this in a summer school in six weeks. And only last year and this year, it's able for large language models to actually solve this problem. If you give this to a former version, it's not possible. We can now do this, which is important if you want to infer something like on which element should I click if I don't know the relations? So, if we take general available vision models like that one from OpenAI, we have some interesting problems. Take this picture, for example, of people walking over the street. If you ask a vision model like GPT-4e how many persons are in there, it says, yeah, there are five persons, which is correct. If you say, please locate these people and draw bounding boxes around, give me the bounding boxes, like the ones you see on the bottom. Where are these elements exactly located? You see, that's totally out of line. Like, how would you automate an UI with that bounding boxes? Click on the most left person, yeah, you would click nothing, nowhere. That's a problem. So, what you have to do is something we call grounding the general vision model, 
with a specialized vision model who can actually detect objects, especially elements on UIs like buttons, text fields, and text, and draw bounding boxes on it. You also see little labels for each bounding box, and you give exactly this image to the general vision model, and it can say, yeah, please click on 58 to try a new post. So this problem is solved. Then the humongous prompt, uh, we already saw that that's not the way to go, but I want to mention it because we borrowed it for a research project from the safe operating computer. Please check it out. That's a very interesting prompt. And then the last part, which I think is an another very important thing if you want to build so-called vision agents, is that you need to control your UI like a real human user. Because if you don't, you have to write a lot of integrations for all applications that are basically out there. Only a real human user can automate based on vision, like mouse clicks, key presses, and all that stuff. That's not <laughs> very impressive here, but you get the gist. The intent pilot we have here puts out structured JSON data, and we already saw how, how to generate this, and says, OK, do press the Enter key, and then you can open Google Chrome, for example. And you translate this JSON into something uh, PyAutoGUI executes. That's cool. But we can do even better, because PyAutoGUI is a library. And in my opinion, it's very important that you, nice formatting there, that you have an embedded service in your operating system, and it doesn't matter which operating system, that can act on your behalf, just like Jarvis from Iron Man. He's able to do everything, and you need a service that integrates and is able to do stuff on your operating system, like you did. So, I showed you all the tech you can use to build a Jarvis. What I want you to do now is build your own little Jarvis, and you can start with the GitHub uh, with the intent pilot from our company, everything is open source that's mentioned there. Have fun. <laughs>